G'day. If you're watching this video, you're either already registered and coming on the next Extreme Character Challenge, or you're seriously thinking about it. Firstly, let me say, it is gonna be good. Adventure of a lifetime stuff. My name's Nathan. I'm one of the crew on the Extreme Character Challenge. I'm gonna go through a bit of a video here about what to pack and what not to pack. All right, firstly, I wanna show you some things that you don't need to bring or you can't bring along with you. We'll talk about that now. So down here, watch, irrelevant on this weekend. You can bring it to the car park and then no further. We've got a phone, it's not gonna do you any good where we're going, don't bring it. No technology, no cigarettes, no alcohol, no extra food. We'll bring the catering, you just get there. All right, also, I don't wanna see machetes. You don't need to bring a machete. You don't need a bush saw. Don't bring your bush saw along, all right. No tomahawks or full-size axes, and there's no need for a hammer either. All right, there's a few things I've seen that you just don't need to bring along. All right, I'm gonna go through some stuff that you need to bring. Firstly, you're a man. So how about you think about bringing a little bit of grit, a bit of determination, maybe some resilience, and a healthy dose of masculinity as well. It's gonna be tough. How tough? Just the right amount. This is a great weekend. And Ask yourself this, when was the last time you truly had a great adventure that you're gonna talk about for years to come? This is it, all right? Let's get into the pack. All right, I'm gonna talk about what you need to pack. Uh, everything that you need to pack is on the 4M Australia website. There's a packing list on there. It's just near the page where you register as well, and it lists all the stuff that I'm gonna go through with what I'm wearing, what's outside my pack, and what's inside my pack. Firstly, what I'm wearing. Well, this is a crew shirt, but nonetheless, it's a collared t-shirt, it's cotton, sports material would be fine. You want something with a bit of sun protection like that and lightweight and breathable. Pants, I've gone for the long pants. Uh, you can wear shorts if that's what you prefer, but it's about whether you wanna be maybe a bit cooler or a bit of protection from all the weeds and the prickles and whatever else you gotta, you gotta stroll through. Really important, some boots that are worn in before you come along. I've been wearing these boots for a while, so they're really comfortable, and I wear them with a wool or a work sock, I can't remember what it is, but they're pretty thick and pretty comfy. So, if you take anything away, wear your boots in before you come, it'll be a lot easier for you. Okay, outside of the pack. You can see here on the front of me pack, this is a 75 litre pack, that's as big as you're going to need. Anything from 50 to 75 is. It just depends how you pack it. Not all the rooms used up in this one. All right, I've got my sleeping mat here on the outside. That's because it's big, but it's light. It's just a cheap foam mat, bit of insulation from the ground. Call it a wimp mat if you like, but it'll keep you warm at night and gives you a touch of padding. Also on the outside of the pack, I've got one liter of water or a water bottle, really easy to grab on the go. I've got my hat for when I'm out in the sun. And over here, I've got my shovel. You could carry that anywhere. Mine's just on the outside of the pack. All right, now we're gonna have a look at what's inside. And there's a fair bit to get through here, so I'm not gonna cover it all in extreme detail. We'll just have a bit of a look. Okay, in my lid. Normally you keep things that you wanna get access to pretty quickly in the lid. So and I use a lot of cheap clip seal bags to, to group things in that are easy to store them rather than fishing around in there for you know, looking for something in the corner of the pocket. And in here I've got some sunnies. I've got um, a knife fork spoon, just a cheap thing I think I got from Aldi, something like that. Um, and a pocket knife. If you are gonna bring a pocket knife, you can see how big mine is. It is tiny. You do not need much at all. It's just to help open a few bits of food that we might give you. So, that's that little bit. Let's have a look what else I got in here. Okay, on the inside lid. Spare clips or bag, you can never have enough of them for rubbish and, and whatnot and other things. This little, I can't remember where I got this thing, but you can hear by the shaking, I've got some Panadol in there and any of my own personal medication for me, I've got to take some eye drops with me because I've got something wrong with one of my eyes. So you just bring whatever medication you need. There's a think apart on your registration. You declare what medication you're bringing. Another handy tip, 
using clip seal bags or plastic bags or shopping bags, group your stuff together. So in here, I've got things like, I've got my uh, insect repellent, a sun cream, a toothbrush, my toothpaste. Uh, there's a, uh, really important for the current climate, one of those uh, alcohol hand gel things in there. Just bunch it up all together like that. Just keeps it neat and tidy rather than falling down through your pack. Couple of spare garbage bags, really good to bring for keeping stuff dry. If you don't have a really waterproof pack, you can still waterproof the things inside it, like your sleeping bag, your clothes. A couple of garbage bags are great for that. Dunny paper, got to bring that. Don't want it to get wet, put it in a bag. Another litre of water, full. Another litre of water, just another type of bottle. This is a soft bottle. Some people use uh, camelback or water bladders, that's fine. Most packs like this one have a pocket down in the back here, you can shove that in. So if that's your preferred method, that's fine. I just use bottles, they're easy to get to, easy to refill, whatever suits you. Bit of luxury, inflatable pillow. You can call me soft, doesn't matter. I like to have a pillow. Really, really important, the book, the Bible. Got to bring that with you, you're gonna need that bad boy this weekend. In here, I've just used one big Coles shopping bag. And in here, it, it's got all my spare items of clothing I want to keep dry, plus some warmer gear. So I'll take it apart for you just so you can see what I've got in there. So in here, I've got a, a flanny long sleeve shirt, a couple of spare pairs of clean and dry socks, some Grundies, beanie for not, at night, spare cotton shirt, one spare pair of long pants, and that's everything in that. I just use a plastic bag to keep it dry so that if the weather is bad and it's raining, it doesn't matter what happens, I've got something dry to sleep in at night. You can be wet all day and enjoy it, but it sucks to be wet at night. Okay, what else we got here? We've got, super important, the tent. Okay, this is a two-person tent. It's a fair bit of weight to these. Um, and I'll show you later on, uh, a simple tip is to Get a mate from your church or your work to come along with you. Break the tent apart. One carries the fly and the poles and the other carries the pegs and the base. Halves the weight between you. Really simple way to carry that. There's no rule that says you've got to carry a tent in the tent bag. So think about that. I've got me spray jacket, a couple of rubber bands around it to keep it smaller. Doesn't need to be expensive. You just want something that's waterproof. If I'm cold, this will be my outer layer to be windproof and I'll chuck it over my flanny. Keeps me warm as well, easy. Really important, cooking set. This is a cheap one. I think this one came from eBay, but exactly the same things are for sale at places like Aldi, um, when they do their camping stuff and Anaconda. I'll just quickly take it apart and show you. As I carry a few little things inside here that make my life a bit easier. So that's a, a Dixie cup. You can cook with that. In here I've just got a, a cloth to clean, a scare to scrub with, a lighter in case the my igniter doesn't work. And that's the stove mechanism. The stove, that simply screws into here, into a gas canister, like so. You take it apart and you can cook on that bit there. Really, really easy. Now, you only need one of these between every two people, okay? So work it out with your mate who's gonna carry that. Of course, everyone needs to bring their own knife, fork and spoon, Dixie cup and pot to cook with, but I only need to carry one of them between two, easy. All right, and I've got me a jumper. Just for the night time when it's cold, really. And then right down the bottom, and you can access it through here as well. But I'll just pull it through the top is my sleeping bag. Now, this one looks pretty big. It's not actually that heavy. It's just a big bulky one, but it doesn't need to be flash. Just try not to have one that weighs like 500 kilos, all right? Do yourself a favor. Okay, so that's my pack. I don't think there's any other secrets anywhere else in here. Oh, some gloves. They're just a cheap pair of uh, gardening gloves that I got somewhere, I can't even remember where. That's on the list, but that's optional. It's up to you whether you bring it. 
if you've got if you're a tradie and you've got hands like leather, you're probably not going to be worried about that sort of thing. There you go. That's everything you're going to need for the extreme character challenge. I get asked, why come on the extreme character challenge weekend? Well, I'll tell you. Now I don't have a bachelor of divinity, and I haven't studied theology formally either. But I can tell you this: when men go off into the wilderness they encounter God. It's a theme in the Bible as well. All right, It's something that we want for you men. On this weekend, there's no distractions. You don't have your watch. The phone's not pinging all the time. It's just going to be you, what you're made of, and your maker in his glorious creation. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited that you're going to be there. All you got to do is get yourself to the car park. Me and the crew will take care of the rest. Let's go.